In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a crazy guitar hit beat without an actual guitar, only with VSTs, and I just show you some little tricks to make your guitar beats without a guitar way more fire. So watch this video till the end, and I would say, let's hop straight into FL Studio A. Hey. Yeah, yeah, just like this. Let's bring our melody on time real quick because it was a little bit off right here. Yeah, like, bring it like this. All right, guys. So that's that's already fire, simple and fire, like exactly what artists want. And right now, I would say let's copy the bottom notes of our chords and let's copy and paste them one octave below, so we add some low frequencies to our melody. Yeah, let's add some uh, little notes in between of our chords. Maybe let's select the middle notes of our chords and let's copy and paste them one octave higher. Let's see how this sounds. Yeah, 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 yeah that's fire. Yeah, so guys, the MLB is fire right here, but I would say let's just strum our notes a little bit by pressing alt and s so you just get that little uh, strum feeling all right all right guys i'm just gonna invest a little bit time right now and uh, strum our chords on my own yeah yeah guys all right so we strummed it right here maybe let's drag from the complete velocity a little bit yeah just like this and maybe we change up the preset right here. Hey, this sounds great. And now we have to layer this sound with different guitar sounds. All right, guys, so let's make a low cut right here where the low mids start or where the low mids end. And we put a high cut on it, right here. And the reason why I'm just gonna do that right now is the artist has way more uh, frequencies to put their vocals in. A little bit delay on it, real quick. Just right here, the time knob set four steps feedback ping pong, volume knob, like however you want it and a little bit reverb also on it, pre quick. I just want it a little bit more roomy. All right, and we just use our uh, third melody right here, just maybe as a bridge melody or something in between or maybe for the hook. Let's see where it takes us, but uh, let's add some bouncy drums first to keep the bounce going. Thank you. 
that also had a bounce in it real quick. Just like this. So you immediately, immediately just get the uh, head bumping effect. I start on my own. So it's just a little thing, you can't really hear it, but it is somewhere in the beat, you know what I mean? So hey, let's add this crash right here, exactly in the beginning. Put it to the 7 mixer track and let's put some reverb on it real quick. So you just get a nice uh, roomy hit exactly in the beginning. Hey, fire. And let's drag our open hi-hat right here exactly to the point where the snare comes in and we just go over here drag those knobs like this so it exactly stops when the snare hits right here if i will turn on the volume knob i'm just gonna make a little fun thing in here Alright guys, so I've just made a little structure for you and I think that's a very good guitar beat. So hey, let's just listen to it once again. So it slowly fades in uh, without the low frequencies cut it out. If you want to watch another video where I've also made a fire fire guitar beat then check out that video right here on the screen. This beat that I made in that video also turned on like a fire fire hit beat so go and check it out guys and I will say we see us in two days. Hey.